Galloway, eHouse Garden Expert, and here are my tips for growing a beautiful organic garden. Garden tools can last a very long time if you take proper care of them, but don't worry if your favorite shovel's gotten a little bit rusty. It's a snap to make it as shiny as new. Here's what you'll need to rehabilitate a rusty tool. A stiff wire brush and some steel wool. Sandpaper and some linseed oil will help you make the handle nice and smooth. Step one. The first thing you're going to want to do for your tool is to coat the blade with a penetrating oil like linseed oil. If you have a bench vise, you can clamp the tool to the vise with the blade facing down. But if you don't, you can just go ahead and work on a hard surface. So I've got some linseed oil here and I'm just going to pour it onto a clean, soft rag. And then I'm going to rub the blade of my shovel with the oil. And this is just going to help the rust come off a little bit easier. So I'm coating it with the oil on both sides, making sure to get all the rusty surfaces. Step two. To remove the rust, you're going to use a heavy wire brush or steel wool, and you're going to brush in a downward pattern to remove the rust. You might have to use both, depending on how rusty your shovel is. Step three. You're going to rub the blade with a soft cloth to remove any rust residue. And then go ahead and dip it into a bucket with soapy water and wash the blade thoroughly. And then take a clean dry cloth and dry it off. Step four. If your wooden handle or the shaft of your shovel has gotten a little splintery or has rough spots, it's a good idea to go ahead and sand those spots with a fine gauge piece of sandpaper. You're going to want to sand in the direction of the grain and just give it a nice rub until you smooth out those rough spots. That way, when you're out there working hard in the garden, you at least won't get a splinter. Step five. Once you've sanded all the wooden surfaces and they're nice and smooth, you're going to want to go ahead and wipe them with a soft, clean cloth just to get off any remaining sawdust. And then to prevent the wood from splitting, you're going to want to treat it with a little bit of linseed oil. So just pour a dab of linseed oil onto your cloth and then rub it on the wood. And this will keep it from drying out and it'll help your shovel last a lot longer. Step six. Now I'm going to show you an easy way to keep your tools clean. What you're going to want to do is fill a five gallon bucket with some play sand. Take the play sand and fill the bucket. Once you've got the sand in the bucket, you're going to take two quarts of vegetable oil, and you can just use plain old vegetable oil, and you're going to pour it into the sand and mix it around thoroughly. What this does is it creates a very sandy medium and then what you're going to do is every time you use your tools, you're going to clean them off, brush off any excess soil, and then plunge the tool into this oily sand, and it's going to lightly coat your tools with a thin layer of oil. Step seven. Once you have your bucket of oily sand, super easy to clean your tools. Just plunge them in the sand a few times. and pull them out. And as you can see, there will be a nice thin layer of oil and your shovel is going to look great.